Hey guys, welcome to Farming Simulator on Manchester. Was I close in? <laughs> I had to do it. Alrighty, um, second time we're recording this, we ran into an issue earlier. And, in theory... We still have issues. Sad part is I know pretty much what's causing it. So, whoa. What is the cause of this so say issue, you may be asking? Well, I have the conveyor belt, conveyor belt mod in, and uh, for some reason it doesn't like the pig fat in script at all. Basically so we can have pigs. I've already changed it and sorted it out in the map, and now it's causing me more grief again. Uh, what it usually does is this window here either goes blank or you can't click it. Um, I need to speak to Raven about this because he helped me do it last time. Um, I put the script back in and now I'm getting these errors that uh, I have no idea what it is. Really do not know what that is. It's probably for me putting that script in. I don't know. I can't remember where the spot was. I just need to get the video recorded. So, we got a fast track. <laughs> found it the other day um, on one of the off-brand sites that really I don't like publicising because the stuff they do I don't really uh, support they tend to take mods off of sites where the authors strictly say do not upload to any other sites and that really pisses me off I've had a couple of them in the past come to me and say uh, kind of like give them support and they'll have my channel out and I considered it one time, but they wanted to put, get me to put their logo in and all that shit. And really, when it comes down to it, no. Just no. When it comes down to that type of thing, just listen to the authors. Uh, I don't know if those guys still watch, but I really don't agree with what they do. And I'm seeing it with a, another map that I'll go into in a minute. But the fast track, this is a style I really like. This is my favourite style. Unfortunately it doesn't get dirty. Uh, I just wanted to put it in the map to see what it's like. So we have it in here. Start it up. Give it a look around quick. And it's go. Pretty basic. We have four wheel steer on this too. So we've got normal front. Four wheel steer. Crab steer back to front, but now the wheels aren't straight, it'll come up with a message. First you need to straighten your wheels. Pretty cool. For a controller you do need to bump it a little to get them fully straight. But I'm using it, the front axle is proper. It doesn't just go up and down, with the, the wheels just don't go up and down, the actual axle tilts. So I saw that and I was like, yeah, you got my thumbs up. Uh, what else? So uh, we are cultivating got this field going, being cultivated Oh, wheat. A lot of you guys wanted wheat, so wheat we are planting. Another thing with the fast track is by name, fast tractor track. It's fast. Uh, look at the speed limiter and 37 miles an hour. I believe these things can go to 40 miles an hour all day long. This is an older style, probably early 2000s I want to say. But it's a fast tractor and it's a realistic speed. I believe the new ones can get up to 40 miles an hour. Yeah, I used to see these when uh, I used to go up to visit my grandparents in Norfolk. You see a lot of them up there, you used to anyway. So it's a pretty nice tractor. Of course, will I replace it with the fast track where the uh, GCB pack comes up? You betcha. Because it's got the style in there I like and the uh, new style. 
and you may notice down in the bottom corner above the speed you see some numbers. And it's a uh, fuel usage. The top one that goes to red and then goes down is what's happening right now. The bottom one's average, I believe. And that is... It makes it use more fuel. So if I'm cultivating like the big tractor is the K700, it's going to be using up more fuel if it's just idling and so on and so forth. Makes it more realistic. So we're keeping that in. I saw it on uh, Dagoin's channel. Uh, I asked him what it was, and he replied with a link. And uh, here we go. <laughs> the rest is history. We've got it in. Uh, even though we've got issues with that new conveyor belt, we'll sell the old version reluctantly. We'll sell it. Like I said, as soon as Raven gets on tonight, I'll be picking his brain and asking him, uh, hey, what's going on? Well, so uh, I've started playing on off camera, and it probably will stay off camera for the most part. Uh, Colburn, Coldborough map, should I say? Uh, Coldborough Park. Uh, 2015, I believe it's cool. It's on FSUK. It's based in the Hertfordshire in the UK. The guy who made it used to work on that farm. Uh, I'm not sure if he still does. But it is fantastic. You need a pretty good computer to run it. So, laptop players and stuff like that, you can probably forget it because I don't think it would run well on that system, type of system. It's a fantastic map, guys. Absolutely fantastic. There's uh, quite a few people that are doing Let's Plays on it. Yes. I can see why. It's great. I doubt I will. Uh, yes, I'm playing on it. Right now it's been taken off of FSUK. The guy that made it, I, I cannot remember the guy's name unfortunately, is re-doing some parts of it because it's got some bugs. So it's good that he's keeping on top of that. So probably within 24 hours if not tomorrow at some point it'll probably be back up. kind of asked the question out on the Parmesan community page, hey, what's going on with that thing? It's got bugs and the guy's fixing it, that awesome. Long and short of it, that. Uh, we've got rid of the sugar beet harvester. Now, I don't know if it's something the modern could have done about it, but there is a bug in the rent stuff where you can rent a machine like the potato harvester and I heard that you can take it back to the shop and you can get some money back so I did I went to the sell point because it wasn't thinking at the first point and it came up 200 and almost 50,000 to sell it I was like hang on I only paid 38k for it to rent it for 24 hours and I saved the game and I sold it and yeah sure enough I got that amount of money back so I loaded it so back and then looked up in the F1 and you can, once it's sat in that zone, you can set it so it's, uh, you kind of like take it back early and you do get some money back, so sort of. it was around 20 grand and it goes down each minute, makes sense. So there is a little bug in that, whether it's just a, something that they can't deal with or it's, people are going to use an ex exploit more than anything. Something to be aware of there. But it worked fine. Had no real big issues with it. Park this little guy because I'm not going to need him anymore. Oh yeah, that's using up the diesel. 68 litres. Average of 46. Wow. Good surprise me. It is a little underpowered, I think, for this. It's, it is underpowered for an articulate and drag, it's just there's nothing decent out right now. If there's a John Deere that comes out, I'll probably use it. Yeah, I'm jumping this guy. And yeah, this is probably going to be a boring episode. Well, I can't remember if I said already, but we are planting up wheat. I asked what people want to see, and. Damn near everyone was uh, wanting wheat, so wheat you should have. And there wasn't a whole lot of people that asked, but well, said what they wanted, what wheat it's going to be. 
grass and all that. The only downside with this uh, fast track is the front linkage is a little screwed up. And needs completely out of grass and silage. Who's that one next? That's it. And sports for you. Okay. So this is a new one. Hopefully it's going to work and it's not going to crash again. We'll see. And you guys will know if it does. So we're getting closer to the JCB pack actually coming out. Um, what I usually do is I record sort of this is Tuesday I'm recording on you guys will see this video Wednesday around 3 4 o'clock depending on when I actually render and upload it because I do that on the same day as it's uploaded uh, for a Wednesday's video that I record I will be rendering and uploading for the same day uh, because the JCB pack as soon as it comes out I'm going to be recording a DLC review on it, like I do every DLC. This one I want to be on top of because I know that's got a lot of hype and uh, it's going to be pretty popular. So I want to get my first impressions out on it. Probably get some on my test map, Westbridge. Probably get some setup scenarios done, sort of plowing. Uh, I'll probably get some bales made up on the test map to have around for storage for the skidder to load up, see what it's like. And just general tasks like that I think I shall be doing. Okay, that seemed okay. Another mod actually we have that the Cobra map needed. Well, well, it recommended, should I say? <laughs> Is PDA? I've been thinking about doing this, getting this in for a while. I know Ian uses it quite a bit and I really enjoy having it in there. It's nice to have something like this back. It used to be annoying but the way this modded one is, it's pretty nice where you can just use the keys to cycle through back and forth and then go up and down the different stuff there. It does show everything like grass, the hay and storage, uh, the two sets of straw, I'm guessing the straw there and the straw there. And the prices, again, that's why I'm not too fussed on the other one for the video not working. And all the other info, info the animals, you can cycle through them, the pig fattening. I'm sure it's a good one to chip on that. 0% productivity. Um, what does that say? That doesn't have the pigs. Zero percent, zero percent. Probably if I fast timed it a little bit, it would. Who knows? Uh, that is, this is a lot of trailer for this tractor. As you can see, it's not wanting to turn. That's interesting. And 10,000 will do, because I'm not sure how much it's actually going to take. Yeah, we're going to swap out for the new Honda <laughs> in a second. This is 
this is too much trailer for this. It hasn't got a whole lot of horsepower, this specific model of fast track. So now, I think we need my grass. Oh god, yeah. Right, we'll just pull forward. We'll swap our machines. When it honestly comes down to it, the real reason I put this in the map was just to see what it was like. I've got the 6810 that pretty much does everything I need for that size of tractor on this farm. I don't need this size, so I don't think it'll stick around. So obviously it's a North American map, plenty of big fields. I'm going to try and keep that bunk pretty full with the mixing station. Grass is not accepted here. We should show. How's that looking like? Well, look at that. Oh, that needs more grain. Little peas. Yeah, the pigs are being pigs. Put a bunch. So that should fill that up. I'd hope. Uh, actually, I don't think I would. I wonder how much these hold. Grass there that says 60. Okay, 700 is finished. Cool. Okay, that's going down. We haven't got any there. It says about what's in the mix station. It'd be nice if the mix station had a physical sort of number. So I knew that I could fill the trailer up to say 20,000, and that would be filling the silo. One full trailer probably would have filled it for them I cannot remember. But it looks like we're going to need more to do more grass too. But this thing's pretty much full in the back there, so. No more free space. Lower the weight, and hopefully, I'll be able to hook up to the full end of it. Yes. Drag it out, fill up, well, empty the conveyor belt. Spin around, fill the bunk back up, and then grab some straw that I don't need a whole lot of. Oh no, it's the next one across. So I don't believe if I jump out and hit F1, it will show me actually what is what. No. Nope, oh, see that'd be nice if we did. So I think that's mixed. Or is that silage? I think it's actually silage, and that's what I need. So I'm pretty sure that's the same colour as this stuff. Yep. Okay. So the lighter colour is the mixed rations, it kinda makes more sense. We'll do this and then we'll get the 700 all buttoned up and 
move on to the next field to cultivate. Just use the same try to something. Well, lens it should be. Whoa. Damn it. Come on. Sad. So, uh, Going on about Colburn, I've been playing that for a little bit. Downloaded it last night. Uh, I'll probably need to download it again, no doubt, when Kirk comes up with the update. But I may do update videos. Manchester map was the map where that was going to be sort of just my playthrough to relax and farm sim. But I ended up enjoying it that much, I wanted to show you guys that um, this one, I really want to just keep. Where I go, have fun. Don't have to worry about doing places so I may do updates on that one. Uh, I'll need to see what it's like for recording because like I say you do need a decent computer to run it. Computer I'm on is okay, it's not the best. The new computer I get. Unfortunately the site I get all of my components from eBuyer. It's a UK website. Um have turned around and said, yeah the card is now uh Discontinued. The graphics card I wasn't gonna pick. And so is the sound card that really pissed me off. So I may be spending more money on a graphics card. If that is the case, it's going to be a four gigabyte graphics card. So what does that mean? It means it should probably run every game on the market in decent graphics sense. With good FPS. Uh, for farm sim, I'll probably be able to play on high graphics settings and then have 60 frames per second guaranteed and record it that So it'd be kind of nice if that is the case and it'd be a lot more smoother all the time to be able to real show off the full quality of the maps. Rolling All that is is the NHL app going on. Annoyingly. So yeah, that's the plan, and if, I don't know, if I get it from eBuyer, all of the components, because I've gone on Overclocker's website, Squirrel recommended it in his last live stream, and it also said, coming up, there's going to be a discount code. Curious on how long the discount code will last? But I may be able to get all of the components that I'm looking at from there cheaper. I just don't know what their service is like. So if that's the case, then I may get them from there and try that website. Uh, it will be cheaper because what I'm looking at right now, complete total price is nine is nine hundred and fifty British pounds. So that's like a fourteen hundred dollar computer, so one thousand four hundred US. There are thereabouts. So uh, talking some big money. Sometimes you gotta spend money to make money in And this type of thing is definitely the case. Especially for GTA coming out anyway. I know my computer back in the UK may just be able to run the crap. I know I wanna enjoy that game to the fullest. And I've personally never built a ridiculous computer. That's what I'm going to do with it. If I can do it, I'm going to do it. It's just a graphics card that's added the big price to it. I get a card like that then. Oh, I thought it was connected to me. Oh, really? I can't connect? Are you serious? Oh, this tractor can be a piece of shit sometimes. Um, the graphics card is one of the most expensive parts on the computer. And you pay for the quality. Open system. Alright, we'll get the K 
back. Wow, cut and shut. That looks awesome. I wonder if this will end up being a screenshot if possible. Oh, that's too funny. So hopefully the game is still recording, but I just took a screenshot of it. If that works out, that will become... Must have hit a hockey. So I'm not sure if that would work. Oh, I do need that down actually. We'll fix up the edges. See any annoying thing with course play? If anyone knows how to fix that when you do the headland, let me know. And yeah, yeah, I'm trying it without the duels on there for a little bit. It's of a different. I don't mind the uh, jewels on this because they actually function properly. We actually have collision turns around them, and that's the big thing. That's why I don't like a lot of the articulators or the equipment where you can put jewels on there. Is they don't function properly. What a few mods I actually do, so I'll use it. Spot and two little spots. This cedar will get it when it goes over and it out. I'm just unfortunately have more patches down here, one big spot that's kind of our own fault, but we'll let that one slide. Fix that up. Get this cultivated in the next field. This is probably going to make a couple of passes itself. Do that, turn up here and turn down. Get these. And of course, another thing is with having a good graphics card, that little room, that rendering room, you shouldn't really see it if at all with high graphics sense. Some of it's been in farms for a long time, it's bugged the crap out of me. I know it does a lot of other people do. So there's no need for it. How badly optimizes the game if they need to do that? Obviously, very. First person shooters out there that look far much more beautiful than this, but I don't know what causes it all. I ain't no expert on this type of stuff. I have done that. Off to field number six. Seven. Seven. Four. Seven's the field I've actually been looking at buying. I may do at some point. I did realise I've got quite a lot of grains coming up with rain. We've got over 200,000 of wheat, 145,000 of barley, canola's looking low, so canola we may do next. Uh, 161,000 of corn. 
Uh, potatoes, 8,000. I haven't done any sugar beet. That's going to be going for the pigs anyway, so that's 2,026,000. 226,000, sorry. And that's it, straw won't bother. There's no need mentioning that. Is this? F4. Poop slugging. Oh. Yeah. Even though that's an. Oh, that's seed, so. Oh, we haven't got. It'll overlap a bit, but it should be it. That's going straight up and down. I want to do a uh, headland. It's pretty much set up a Get this done. We got the mixing station all sorted. Down at the bottom there, it's looking kind of busy now. We got the blue dots that mean uh, it's how far the tractor's gone in sort of miles or kilometers, depending on what you have it set to for your speed in game. So this tractor's done a total of 19 miles. 2.7 miles in this game session. Fell onto the wrong part. Yes, I did. Oops. No mind. It'll drive there by itself now. Gotta love that picture. Has this really moved that far already? I wish I could fix that. It's kind of, on his part, kind of stupidly left that in. We'll pack up the... conveyor the about there and park it over there again. The rest I don't need to hold them for. Drop that. Take one last look. So they need some grain and some. It's probably not even dumping because it was full. I know it is. That takes a while, but keep on top of it like that. Oh, we'll grab the little trailer here. Now, this tractor, I actually really like the cowboy. I like its style. Sort of the year of it. Uh, I don't know if it was 2000s or early 90s. Or late 90s, should say. This specific style. Someone will be able to let me know on that. I used to actually have a. And this is gonna date, and some people may have heard of them. And it's only gonna be you guys in the UK that would have. Britain Toys. Britain's Toys, I cannot remember. I used to have a JCB. Some. It's clear. Some farm tool manufacturing. I think they're out of business now. They used to make phenomenal models. I got quite a few. I've got a John Deere premium tractor that's I played with that as a kid, unfortunately, so it's a little chipped and dinged up. But awesome. Um, what do we have the most of right now? Wheat, I guess. So. Just fill this up. I know it won't take it all. So, guys, we're coming up to the end of the video. Uh, we'll get this cultivated up, probably, maybe camera, I don't know what I'll do with that, um, let me just show you bit by bit, 
with uh, this screwing up. I saw recon was on, but I had my heart set on doing this. Could have probably done multiplayer today too. Never mind, hopefully tomorrow at some point. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. See ya!